What's up, everyone? This episode of the podcast is with Jeff Wilbur. Jeff, I've known for several years, and he runs a local company here in Salt Lake. Obviously, they ship product nationwide, um, but his company called RDR Kydex. I, ha- I mean, currently, that that that's from Jeff. This is not planned to plug Jeff. I wear a lot of Jeff's stuff personally, so they make good holsters, um, K9 gear, some soft goods, some really cool stuff. Jeff's a frankly, a buddy of mine. And so we got together, shoot the shit on the shooting industry a little bit. Here we go. You're officially a tri guy now, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, the tri in the 2011, I think is, if 2011s could be, like, the one thing I think tri did was, they made a 2011 in a carry gun format. Right? Yeah, mine is not. You have but, a five inch, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I have a four inch. The four inch carry gun, like when you pick up that four inch 2011 pistol, right, with 16 rounds in it, mm-hmm. and you pick up a Glock 19, yeah. it is weight wise the same, grip is the same, That's length cool. is the same, but you can carry a, 20, a, a 2011 pistol all day. I can't say that the same thing for like the, some of the STI products, but the form and function, yeah. and what I think STI is doing great is now you're bringing a 2011 to the market where anybody can buy. You're talking right. STI or Triarch? Yeah, yeah, STI. With, I mean, that, with the their Statico, Statico or whatever yeah, it's called. Staticado, Staticado, Staticado. I think. Um, you know, I think that is, but I had a couple come to the shop, the P version and the 4-inch model. Because I haven't understood that, because it's single, there's a single stack one. The and I'm Staticado like, C, I think they call it, the so, C. So I, I don't understand why you would want a 2011 that's a single stack. To me, it's like, it was not really a 2011. Like, this is the weird. the P was like, you know, it's weird too, but like when you look at, it's nothing negative about STI, but they're not building a new gun. They're going to the back of their building and saying, we're gonna take this slide. Frankenstein this you know, shit together. And then next thing you know, it comes out as a new gun because we're gonna take the, the serrations off of this and we're gonna make them this way. We're gonna take the lower grip frame off this gun, and, like the DVCs, right, when they came out, you know? And because the Omni, what was the Omni? It was Costa's old gun. Right, made into the Omni now. Yeah. What is the Omni no yeah, longer? Yeah, yeah. The Omni is now the P series, right? Yeah. It's just this ev- evolution of the same pistol. Yeah. They they launched it as a new gun, but it's like, well, it's kind of a hybrid. Yeah. It's kind it's of like an iPhone concept, right? But the, yeah. the iOS yeah. is not really doing anything for you. Yeah. But the box and the present presentation is different. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, totally. And then I think it's just the biggest thing I think with like where that 2011 process is, is tough is like the industry wasn't ready as far as accessories go. There was no, so I wasn't ready to kick off a duty holster for these, like the U.S. Marshals going to the STI, right? Oh, that's no, right. There's no duty holster right now for these guys to running this on duty unless huh. you're modifying, right? And so, and I know now guys are cross-referencing different holsters or trying to, and I think sometimes the adage of right tool, right job really does play effect when you're using something in a, for all the Marvel situation, fighting with some bad guy, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah. I don't know, and I know that so far that Oakman's not advertising it, but I know that that's kind of the go-to right now to make or break, you know, kind of find a holster to make it work, so. For the 2011? For the 2011s, yeah. Huh? Well, they should. Yeah. I mean. But I mean, so far land too, it's like, you know, I from my conversation with those guys, I know right now they're about three months behind on a regular Glock RDS product. You're made in my 90 days. God. Um, Chad and I saw this kind of come in the pipe. My whole thought was, a shoot, I'll just make sure the Utah guys get squared away, right? Local LEs. It's very little here, but all over California, all over Texas. Um, shoot, I even now, I just got two orders from DHS, right? That's and, cool. You know, so it's, it's awesome, right? Because now they're buying the holsters, they're getting them wrapped, and we're shipping out in different color formats. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I have to continually par, it's like par and beer at a cooler. Like right now, we have 175 holsters coming next week. And then on Monday, we'll drop another 150 and play that game and wait it out. Because we're averaging around three to three and a half months for delivery on wow. the base order. And the base order might will get broken up into three separate orders, mm-hmm. right? But they've been pretty good at the communication, you know what I mean? But it's just, it's like bailing water right now for them. Yeah. They get close and all of a sudden some new agency says, hey, we'll take whatever or military. I mean, military. it's great. Yeah. It's great. It just gets a little annoying on the consumer's oh, end of it's like, bad. bro, it's going to take me four months to get a holster. Yeah. And I think, too, if they would honestly, if they put a social media team together that just dedicated answering customers on their social media pages, because those negative comments linger and stay there. So the brand new dude who's coming on who wants to learn about this or read about it, 
all they get bombarded is this chain of horrible conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you know? happened to, I think, prime time, where I remember that, like, that stands out in my head, is Salient. Mm -hmm. Salient was oh, just huge. getting yeah, crushed. crushed. They got crushed online. And it wasn't man. a bunch of trolls making shit up. It was actual it was customers straight up going, customers like, what Yo. the fuck, return my voicemail. Yeah. You've got $3,000 of mine, call yeah. me back. Yeah. That's valid. I mean, I get it too, and like, you know, I'll, sometimes I'll get swamped, you know, and I forget a, somebody's voicemail or something, but or if I don't get back to that person in that box, there might be an extra mag carrier. Or there's an envelope yeah. with 20 bucks in there saying, hey man, I apologize, I jacked this up. Yeah, that's cool. Right? Or it's what it's you should do. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to make it right because I, I'm human, I do make mistakes, but the goal is not to make those mistakes as a business owner. Yeah. So. But the amount of people who actually, it, it, I don't, maybe it's every industry, but I don't know. Right now, I'm just like, why is the, the, the tactical industry, why is it so incompetent at actually just running their business? Like, it is sad how much I see it right now. I think it's tough, too, because, like, you know, I think that we build, that the companies that come out, you know, they build a product and they give it to a bunch of people they think are going to promote this. Yeah, influencer shit. You know, you know but I think the word influencer, you're a big social media guy. My, you know Heather Dobson, our, our good friend Heather, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Heather has been like a major influence on me for the social media side, right? To help me navigate who's legit. And my brother, Chad, puts a ton of time in researching concepts of social media. Kickstart or kick campaigns and different things that help us grow. But when you look at the ROI or that influencer, right? Yeah. You giving me free $3,000 products, Does I'm going to tell you that it's, it's the best thing since sliced bread because you're gonna not give me another one back or give me another one or so-and-so company's not gonna give me one or this company's not gonna give me one. I have to be biased towards your product to make it sound good. Correct. In the same token, why do you only give it to this one market segment, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it not given to, hey, I saw your social media page, you know, um, I'd like to send you a pistol to maybe work up some holsters or try it out. It'll be on a six month uh, loan type thing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You'll sign this piece of paper, you'll give it back just in six months. Cool, all right? But it's not, it's, it's, the, it's the tactical gurus, these dudes with, I mean, okay, but how many guys relate to the 2,000, 1,800, $3,000 product you know, you know. Look, what most people that are buying gear are, you know, give me a stock Glock. Yeah. You know, give me the Bushmaster AR. You know, I mean, like, look, that the more people are in that category than, uh, you know, what I want a new Triarch mm -hmm. full Ambi AR. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, that's a three thousand dollar gun once yeah. it's all said and done. You know, that that's a chunk of cash. Yeah. I think it's the same thing like shoes, right? Nike's following. Everybody has a click. Right. Mm -hmm. They're going I mean, we have customers who've been buying product from us for a shoot. I don't know how many years. I, but I'll see the order come through for a holster, and I know this guy's name is about a new gun. Yeah. Right. You've been coming now for since we met. You know. So it's like two years. Yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, it's because I think too. You know, when you had the issues with your sailing stuff, it wasn't so much the the product was badass. It was a service and the experience you got the first time meeting somebody you'd never dealt with. Oh right. yeah. Now that, knowing that's, you, that's, critical that's, to me. that's your that's your check mark, right? That's oh, yeah. you get my business based on how you made me feel the first time we met. One hundred percent. You know, dealing with it and, with a yeah. company right now, and I'm just like, I don't even really want the thing that I ordered anymore. Yeah. I kind of like I'm not even interested. It's just got bad blood for mm -hmm. me. You know, like, yeah. and I'm petty about that shit. You I can know, ad no, I can admit but I mean, it. I think what you you know you it's it's an, it's a cliche, but you only get a first chance to make a first impression. But you do. also, I think the impression is one thing, but now I think with the invent of social media and everything else, it's the experience you create mm -hmm. while you're doing X, Y, or Z. Yeah. You know. I mean, I went to a class recently and I took Heather and it was the first time her going to an organized firearms shooting class. And it ended up being one overbooked. Um, the instruction was super poor. Yeah. Um, and this comes from a human who actually teaches other human adults for a living, right? There's a connection you're making and an experience you're creating for that person if you want to learn more, Yep. right? It's one thing to use big fancy words and have a canned presentation and just shoot a bunch of guns. If I wanted to organize range day, I can do that with my bros yeah. some other time, Easy. right? I didn't see that from her point of view the first day and a half. But then when I got after, we, had to, we spent the night, you know, kind of hot washing the class, and she brought up so many points of like, wow, that makes a lot of sense, being able to project conversation and, and, and content to someone, and there's context of your content, mm -hmm. right? 
and being able to present it as an instructor, or Big better difference. yet, being a teacher, not just being an instructor. You know, I so. think they're. Um, I mean, they're, they're definitely catching on now. Like people are definitely becoming aware of them, but you know, ST. I, I think it's a very common trend. A very common trend that companies start in, like an STI salient. Uh, I would debate agency, mm -hmm. um, who, by the way, I've heard is off Instagram now. They, I, I think their whole Instagram page got whacked, you know. But I think too, when you sign up for Instagram, you realize if you sell firearms as your core post of business and your posts relate back to your website, it's there's risky. something that's it's risky. That, that's a risk right there because you know that's the same thing me and Chad. We don't do anything firearm related just in case yeah, we get smashed, it. you know, by because we signed up. Hey, we checked that box. I agree to your terms and conditions. Yeah, you know, did did my re you know revisiting back to a song of a firearm violate that so i don't know yeah but. well my account's been hosed lately oh really and, and, and i can trace it back to a video that i posted that became by far without competition the most popular if you will video that i've done and but it was all hate and uh, ever since that my account tanked and as far as that's Instagram, not yeah, Instagram. Or, or not followers. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I haven't lost followers, but my engagement is a third. Yeah. Like I, I mean, like most of my stats are a quarter to a third of what they were. That, that's, and like this isn't just me going down the conspiracy rabbit hole. Like I track metrics mm -hmm. every week, and I go, I'm at a quarter of yeah. what kind of views and likes and everything I was getting. Well, that's not coincidence. People didn't just one day say. Yeah. Let's yeah, not look. It's funny if it's like the other day, uh, some guy on Instagram hits me up and goes, hey man, I'd love to review a product. Okay. You review the highest, most expensive product in as far as an RDS holster. So I go to his Instagram. He's at 18,000 followers. Cool. And I start looking at his engagements on his views. Like yeah, the, some of his the, views, the, the, like, the follower number doesn't really Yeah. Matter. But what was crazy, like his views were like 89,000, 75,000. That's his, great. Yeah. But then when I go look at his followers, yeah, I can look at your followers and we can have a, a co-follower, yeah, right? Sure. right? But when I look at 18,000 of your followers and I take the time at night and kind of go through all these, if I go through all of your followers and you're in the firearms industry posting firearms related product and I don't have one. That's almost, that's weird. It's extremely yeah, strange, weird. right? Yeah. And so I did this at Googling and I was talking to Heather about it. And I guess there's some new ways now where there's new algorithms and whatnot where customers can actually buy engagement. And You've always been able to buy likes I didn't know that you could buy views yeah, she said it was, it's a pretty technically savvy process but it can be done I didn't get too much into well, it it's, but it it's was very like, it, well, it's very common that people buy followers yeah. like you know newsflash hate to break it to everyone people buy followers and you know they do it all the time um, but it pads their account with this fakeness because mm -hmm. if they're not buying the engagement you go okay you've got like I, I've known multiple people not in the firearms industry who did this where I'd go man they got to 100,000 like real quick. And literally I would go to photos and I'm like, that has 60 likes on it. That's yeah. not right. Like that's definitely tells yeah. me everything I need to know. Interesting though that you can buy yeah, views just, because yeah. that because at 18,000 followers to have upwards of let's just say 90,000 views, that is disproportionately high. Oh, huge. That's, you know who surprisingly does a really good job of making you feel like you're a part of the club? And it's almost strange because they're so big is I bought a SIG Legion mm -hmm. 229, I don't know, a couple years ago, don't have it anymore, just didn't really have a place in my collection. But I bought that thing, you know, and it comes in like the special SIG Legion case yeah. and you got your challenge coin. I got an email from the guy who's like the rep for all the Legion customers. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a blanket email, like, dear customer, thank yeah. you for buying this. It was a dude who said like, hey Jake, thanks for, for buying this. If you ever need anything related to that gun, let me know. And I was like, Sig, yeah. like I feel, I feel like I'm a part of the team. Yeah. Like I was like, good on you guys. Yeah. And I think it's unique in every industry. Because like even so far, and I called a couple weeks back, and this kid answered the phone. It was on a Friday afternoon, and the dude was beyond good, right? Mm -hmm. So when I I called back on Monday, and I called somebody else, and I said, and they had to give me to their sales team people, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, hey, by chance, um, if you guys know this Kevin guy. You know, the, the service was above and beyond. Yep. It was the best service. It was so, not shocking, but it was such 
stellar service that should be the standard for a company that big. It's what then it we blew my mind, like, holy cow, this guy, like, you know, yeah. and literally what, everything he said he did, they showed up on that following Wednesday. That's what's up. Right? That is like, man, that makes, so that takes away. It's almost a, inspiring. Yeah, it's like, a, it, I'm building this brick of negativity in this house of these bricks, and I'll, oh, I'm gonna take one away now, yeah. you know? And yeah, never yeah. get completed to where I'm, you're losing me as a customer, but it's like, man, I was like, that is where the, but so then why can't that be the standard? It, uh, it, it can, is, is the answer. It, yeah. it won't, yeah. but it can, you know, like I, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to start doing some gun and gear reviews, mm -hmm. much to my, even my own surprise that I'm on board with finally doing it. But I remember distinctly, I got, actually, I'll tell you the best, the best sales move, if you will, that's ever gotten put on me. And I mean, this is a compliment to Chris James, because I'll, I'll tag him in this. So Chris James, who, who runs Combat Precision, uh -huh. um, you know, real high end, yeah. you know, full custom 1911s, right? And I'd been on the, I'd been on the fence about it. It's like, you know, it's a lot of money, it's a long yeah. lead time, you know. I'm in like new business startup phase, yeah. like this is not the time. And um, and he goes, he goes, what year were you born? I was like 1983. And uh, like a few hours later, he sends me a photo of a frame and the serial number is my birth year. And I'm like, son of a bitch. I'm like, that's the best sales move I've yeah. ever seen. I'm like, yeah. that's that's the smartest thing anyone's ever done no, to me. Yeah. I'm like, and I, of course, I, I, I'm like, well, I guess we'll start a build, yeah. you know? But I'm just like, that. but that level of like, first of all, super clever, Chris James. And I mean it as an ultimate compliment, but also that level of you feel like you're a part of this thing and like a unique, like you're not just a number, you're like, mm -hmm. I'm a client I'll be taken care yeah. of. Oh, I love that. I'm a yeah. sucker for it. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that yeah. feeling. I mean, it's funny because when you, you coming from the social media side, you know, and Heather's always talking about it, the experience, the experience is what is key. Yeah. And like, I'll listen to some of her talks and whatnot, and we're in Phoenix, whatever, and there's a place that I'll see some of her colleagues at these events, whatever, and there is a really a true, and I, and I see it too, but it's like when I get these guys random comments, hey man, thanks for the awesome info on that video you did. Thanks for the awesome comment on blah, 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 right? Uh -huh. And I didn't really know I was doing it, but I'm glad that what little bit of crap that I had to say that day helped somebody else out there, right? Totally. And, and it's cool, and I think that, you know, anybody who is in, in our industry can be a douche, or they can be, you know, that guy who's gonna, you know, shout you the famous phrase, I got you, bro. You know, they don't got nothing. You're no, not getting shit. You right? don't. They just said that to you, so you'd leave them alone. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, there should be a t shirt for Shot Shows that says, I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah you know? that's great. Yeah, someone make I that, mean, please. You know, I mean, because it is the so, oh, give me a card. Dude, this is wasted. You know? yeah. This is a waste at of time. At 2.30, three you cents. took my card, and at 11.30, you're bent over a trash can puking your guts out, yeah. right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it, I mean there are very few people at Joshua who are actually taking the time to build clientele, build relationships, build industry, you know, and, and for me even, like, you know, I didn't, we didn't go last year, and I think if I, anybody asks me, do you go for business? If my brother is sitting here next to me, I gotta be honest, no, I don't go for business. Yeah. I go to see some friends that I get to see yeah. that are from Florida maybe some industry people, and it's nice to be able to meet someone who follows your brand and you yeah. get to shake hands and meet a follower, a totally. fan or whatever. And, totally. And it's a little mini vacation and you know, we start the new year. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, it's a good time. It, it's, and that's, you know, I mean, I think that's really what it, I used to think though, oh, it's business. Yeah. I mean, I've grown a lot in that aspect, I think, and I'm still growing to understand really what the dollar that I'm about to give somewhere, is it really on my business or am I just telling myself it's on my business? Yeah, it drives me nuts to no end. And I, like, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's like the weird side of me, you know? But I will beta test this on certain accounts where I'll go, like I do, like personally go and do a lot of engagement on Instagram and go mm -hmm. comment on people's page and send them a DM mm -hmm. and just say, hey, you're local dude, you like to shoot, I like to shoot, cool, good to meet you, man, mm -hmm. you know? and. Um, uh, there's a handful of pages where I'll go and I'll leave comments just to see if they respond back. Like I'll actually leave a thoughtful comment or question or something. And there's so many companies who never respond to comments and it irks me to no end. I'm like, that's just lazy business. You right. took the time to go up here and post this thing. You have people leaving thoughtful things on this and you won't take the time to go and comment. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a subtle fuck you. It's a very subtle, 
we, we care enough to try to get your business, but we don't actually care to engage with you. No. Like, I pay attention. Yeah. I pay attention to that stuff. You know, and that's like things like, you know, too, on that email where a customer writes a take. If you take a time to write an email, that's even more impressive. Oh, right? in these you know, era? And, yeah. For sure. What I think is cool, like, and I, and I take a lot of pride in them because I save them in a special place in the shop, you know, but if I open a holster up that some officer sent me, there's a patch inside it. Mm. You know, yep. and it's not just a patch that they had off of, you know, one of the brand new ones. It's got the iron, it's got the thread on it still, and it's got all kind of, it's a little ratty. It's been around for a minute. It came off a uniform. Yeah. You know, that to me is like. Oh, there's significance. You know, yeah. yeah. I mean, I have a friend of mine who's retired NYPD guy. I have a patch from a uniform they wore on 9 11. Oh, yeah. Like, that's man. like my number one, you know, NYPD oh, patch incredible. I have, you know, and it looks like it went to the ringer, right? <laughs> and. I'll get sometimes I get a brand new one, you know, but it's it's a swag thing, whatever they get. But yeah. then you know, once in a while you get like California guys are always cool because whenever I get one from like San Bernardino or CHP or something like that out there, it's a uniform patch. You know, hmm. they're giving you one. And I think that says a lot that it came from Oh yeah. You know, because I don't know that that, that patch now had history. Oh it's, yeah. It's it could they could talk to me, it would tell me a badass story, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's pretty cool, you know, when I open a box and now guys will share patches and my goal, I mean eventually someday I'll have a big ass patch wall in the shop. Oh you know, it'd be super you cool. Know, and actually. people can see, you know, the collection, you know, but it's definitely um, I'm glad that we can do certain things in the LA community to, you know, to give back and do the things we do. But it's pretty rad is when dudes actually take the time to say thank you in some oh, way. Oh man. It's, 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 it's huge. I, I don't think people necessarily understand, hey, look, when you own your own business, whether big or small, but especially if you're, you know, in the relative grand scheme of things, a small business, um, and someone sends a, a note or a DM, comment, email, wh whatever, to, however you communicate, you just say something nice, mm -hmm. it's like, that stuff keeps us going. Man. Yeah, it's like, hey, look, yeah. the, the 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 money that you might make from your business, cool. That's all. I mean, who doesn't love money? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. But when someone actually takes the time to go, hey, you know what? Uh, you helped me with this, or you gave me this thing, and it's really been awesome, or whatever. It's it's a small gesture. Yeah. But the, the amount of time it took him to do that, I don't think people necessarily understand. It really made a big difference. Yeah. Like that got sent on a day where I was just in the dumps, and it was huge, dude. No, you know, I agree. <laughs> like yeah, that's the thing. Thing is, like, sometimes they're worried. It's like, gosh, you know, is this product good enough, right? Because if it's not, you could say, oh, the customer would tell you. Well, no. Some people not like, really. you send me something crappy. I, I don't. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you it's crap. That was forty bucks. Done. You know, I'll be on with it, right? Yeah. And I, some, I like to. Well, I've, I had a guy come in the shop today. He asked me some questions on a holster, you know, and we're talking about. It. He goes, "All right, let's do that inside a waistband." He goes, and I, and he goes, "I appreciate you, you know. I, I'm not trying to tell you how to carry." He goes, "No, man, I, I appreciate it because he's like, if I bought this, and I know myself, I'm a human, and other humans do it as well. That if I bought this and I'm with my bros or whatever, and, and it sucked, I'm not the kind of guy who's like, dude, that guy told me not to buy it." He said it was going to be garbage. I wanted to buy it myself anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, people don't do that. They blame the vendor. They blame the manufacturer. Yeah. And it's done deal, right? And then now you had three other voices that just heard this person say, this vendor sucked. Right? I know I do it. You know? I mean, I'm and, sure I do it all you know, the time. So that's why I always like to, especially when there's locals, like, man, if I can, if you call the shop or call me, you know, and sometimes I, I get a little long-winded maybe or whatever, but I want to make sure you have all the information, right? Because the permit process doesn't have a lot of the carrying concepts mm -hmm. or this t topics within the four-hour classroom you take, right? So if I can help you talk about a pens carry, if I can tell you about an outside of waistband holster or inside of waistband holster, right? Or you know my view on a light on a pistol for your everyday carry. You know, I mean, I'll share with you my thoughts, but I'll make what you want, right? But at the end of the day, I want to make sure you're going to buy this product, use it in good health, and at the end of the day know that you got all the information to make your decision mm -hmm. versus just, oh, he just sold me something and we moved on. Yeah. You know? so. Well, yeah, no. And I, I mean, I've, I don't know how many people, but I, I mean, I know I've sent a handful of people to you over yeah. the years just mm -hmm. because they go, hey, look, um, I know it'll get done. <laughs> like, and I know, um, like, I know you'll be taken care of. Like, yeah. that, that's kind of ultimately what it comes mm -hmm. down to me. You, you know, it's like, Especially if a friend goes, uh, oh, I need a holster for this. Who do you recommend? Typically, and like, look, I've got holsters from a lot of different yeah. companies, you know. So it's, I'm not some RDR mm -hmm. sponsor yeah. shooter or something, but I, I'd say you're probably, too big for us. We can afford you. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. I'm I'm cheap. Um, you know, I'd say probably two to three, three to four out of times, I usually send them your way just because they go. 
I know it's going to get done and mm -hmm. I'm confident it'll be done well. And I always know that I can pick up the phone and call you if something meltdown it's happened, like which why would that happen? That you were, you said, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We, we talked probably two, three times and he's like, all right, let's go. I apologize, you know, but you made a good point. Let's go back to, you know, we had gone back and forth on these, on the, what he had, because he had some unique stuff. And it was, and it's always weird when you're building something for someone and they're out of state, right? Yeah. And it can't come by and drop off yeah. this X, Y, or Z. Yeah, a little trickier. You know, yeah. and so I want to make sure that I ask these questions, not to hear my own voice or make me sound like I'm the smartest guy in the room, but I need to make sure that you know what you're asking for, right? And, and it's hard to come off as not be the SME on a topic mm -hmm. and come back, well, what do you know about doing this? You know, or why do you want to carry this way? Yeah. All I want to do, man, is make sure that I don't make you something and then I know it leaves the shop not being a 10. And when you get it, you don't understand it very well. So now it's a four. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. And that's where I kind of ask these questions for people and say, well, let's just talk about it real quick. Shoot me a picture of what you got. Give me a sketch idea, you know, and, and we'll go from there. So, mm -hmm. and, it, and yeah, if I get, if we got super huge, you know, and I'm, I got minions doing this and whatever, yeah, maybe I can't do those same things, but, or now maybe it's, I can take those little niche customers and make sure those people get squared away yeah. and the minions do the regular stuff, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, do some, uh, do some selfless, uh, or, or Self self promotion here. So I mean, obviously holsters. You guys do. And now it's we got the Kydex, the K9 products, um, and the soft goods. So the chest rigs, the placards, the amp pouches. Um, my brother had a good kind of vision to kind of move towards soft goods. You know, I mean, Kydex. Mm -hmm. It's an open ended business, right? Any it's non barrier. Anybody can get into it tomorrow. Sure. You know, with yeah. the investment we have now, sewing machines and, and and the staff we have, getting the soft goods side up and running, and expanding it more, and it's a value driven product that's affordable that was our vision right we know what some of the stuff costs to make and i think that there are some companies that since they are connected to some of the cool guy brands and cool guy that price network that price you pay for that right yep. and not every dude can afford that two plus product right where yep. that 150 160 then with the sale price we know what it costs to make well i appreciate you having me out man it was a great it was really fun so i yeah. had a good time so yeah thanks exciting. for showing up last minute too. now it's you know i appreciate the opportunity and the offer and it was a Definitely a lot more fun than I oh, thought it would um, be. So. Plug just like a website, IG oh. handles, stuff like that. Oh, rdrgear.com is the website. Uh, Facebook, same thing. Instagram, same thing. We don't got a Twitter or anything like that. So, um, but easiest way to get hold of us is through the website. 